Good morning, everybody. Backcountry Amateur Radio. Today, I want to talk about the ACFT 25R. I'm not going to go into crazy reviews or anything like that. I just want to show you how to program it for repeaters uh, and simplex. And should only be a few minutes of your time, but hopefully it'll be useful. For backcountry skiing, I do want to know that it is nice. You can get, there's a, like $25 to $40 speaker mic that you can plug in here. You run that to the exterior of your backpack. You can drop this inside backpack so it stays warm. Okay, so here's a perfect example of uh, what kind of repeater information we're looking for. This is actually utahrepeaters.com, which is a super handy website which helps you geographically understand where each repeater is. Anyway, the one I've highlighted is way out here, and you can see my little mouse. And that is above north of Vernal in Utah. It's a little mountain repeater. 147.34 with a PL tone of 1365. You need to know this information in order to program your radio. Also, it's worthwhile to note that the offset is a positive 600 kilohertz. So that being said, some of the other things I like to think about when I program my radio is what elevation is my repeater at? This one is at 8,600 feet. And I know the topography of that area is, is relatively flat. There's a big basin. And uh, there's small plateaus here and there, and then it backs up to the south slope of the Uinta Mountains. And um, so you have a lot of elevation on that repeater, and it has a broad range. So this is, yes, a good one to program. Okay, so my first step is to get out of memory mode. So you can see this M, you know, 2, and you can scroll through the different memories that I've got. I need to get into VFO, so go down to your hash and press the VFO. Right now, my VFO is tuned to 14736. Well, I know that I need to get to 14734, which actually, you could punch in the keys. There we go. The next thing is, now you've got your uh, repeater output frequency. That's the one you're going to be listening to. You need to program all the other stuff and make sure the offset's correct. So here we are with the Yesu. Um, I've got my positive offset, which is preset, which is awesome. But let's hold down this F menu. This is this button here. This is your function. So hold it down, and here we are. Now, what I want to do um, is anything that is programmed as you're programming it to save it to memory will be remembered initially. So even transmit power. So we'll save it at 5, and we'll go back. Now I need to go to, your squelch type is really important. So hit that right now, I know it's tone, but you do not want to do tone squelch. Um, reverse tone is different, DCS, uh, pager, off. Off is gonna be handy when you find a repeater that doesn't have a subaudible tone or PL tone. Anyway, uh, be aware this is also your receive tone, transmit tone. And anyway, this is where we are. Um, squelch type is a T, a transmit tone, and not squelch. Um, so scrolling through here, this one's really important. And this one can determine whether you have issues with this or not. Here's your shift, 0.6 megahertz or 600 kilohertz. That is really important to remember that that is there. Um, ARS, automatic repeater shift, on. You can turn that off. Do on. I, I want that on. It just is, makes this so much easier to program. Um, and so hold down on the F menu button and back out to the menu. And let's go up to our continuous tone coded squelch right there. Menu number eight. Hit that. I need this to be 136.5. So I'm just going to hit F menu again just once and scroll up to do, 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 do. There we go. Oops, passed it. F menu button and hold down on it to exit to the main menu and then hold down on it to exit back to your function. All right, so. I'm back to my screen. I've got one, four, seven, three, four. I've got my my tone, 
my 136.5 programmed and my automatic shift positive. So now I would want to test it. I'm out of range of this repeater, so I'm going to go on faith that this road trip that I'm taking, I'm going to be able to use this and reassess if I need to. But generally speaking, the information's available, it's going to be pretty accurate. So now I want to program this. This is again the little mountain repeater north of Vernal. So you want to hold down on MR. And now I can give it a name. So I'm going to give it Little Mountain. You, so you press down your keys, and you actually have to push the F key again right there. Let's see if I can get a better light. There we go. And now it moves to the next space. And I'm going to abbreviate this. So T. Boop. Push. Little. Okay, now that I've got Little Mountain programmed in there, and you don't have to do that. You can actually skip to this next this next step and not program a name. You just hold down MR again, memory in, and now you're still in VFO mode, but go ahead and push your MR or memory mode. Takes you to your memory and little mount is there and is memory number 22. Easy enough. So national calling frequencies, my local repeater, Wilson. Uh, the little mountain is now programmed in there, which is pretty great. Now, in order to check the power, the transmit power, and change it, you want to press your F key, P2, and it's still on high power. Imagine I get out to Vernal, I only need half a watt. You can push the arrows down to 0.5 watts, push your F key again, and you've reprogrammed that to a low power, which is great. Now, what we can do is go back to that repeater function. Hold down, I think three seconds. Let's go visit that repeater menu. Say you want to run this simplex. So hit your repeater key and now we're going to turn automatic repeater shift off and then hold down F key to exit, hold down on to exit. And you can see my plus sign's gone. There's no minus sign either, which means we're simplex with a tone. So be aware simplex with a tone isn't good operating procedures. You do want to have a no tone because tone essentially acts like, um, you know, privacy coding, which you shouldn't do as a ham radio operator. Okay, sorry for the background shift. But it is important to know that if you are doing simplex and you want to turn that tone off, all you need to do is go back into your menu. You can go back down to your squelch type. I'm going to go backwards up through the menu here and save yourself um, a step because you'd have to turn this off anyway. So you go to squelch type and off. And that alone will turn the tone off. So now there's no tone programmed because it's off. So now this is in simplex mode. Just assuming we are in a weird place where the repeater is not automatically programmed to a positive offset, we need to program it for a negative offset. So go into your menu and hold down. And let's look at that. So you keep the ARS or automatic repeater shift off, go to mode, and you can change this. Positive, negative repeater. So we're gonna hit it once to stop flashing, hold down the F key to exit again. And now we've got a negative repeater shift or, and that's probably not gonna happen too often. Most repeaters are set up pretty universally as far as the offset positive or negative based on the frequency they're on. So anyway, just be aware that that is something you can change. Now I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna turn that off. But the, sometimes the hold down for one second or three seconds is a little confusing. So I'm gonna leave the, actually turn the ARS back on. Do to do, do, and that changes it back to simplex. And so you don't have to do anything else. And notice that your automatic repeater shift isn't working. You don't see a positive or negative, just push a key and then it comes back. So that's, that's something to keep in mind. It is a little trick um, that you need to remember if you are playing around with the automatic re repeater shift. All right, thank you for joining me here back on Triometer Radio in regards to the Yesu FT25R. It always goes in my backcountry ski bag. There's never a time when I don't have it because this is my emergency call out if I need to where I can't use a cell phone. And oftentimes, um, 
you can't get anybody when you're using those little FRS radios. They just, they're great for intergroup and I see with a lot of people who are not ham radio operators. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share and uh, please leave some comments. I'd love to see some feedback of what I can do better. And uh, I'm not a super tech guy, so I'm not gonna be super creative with production quality, but I do want to focus on the content of these videos. Thanks again.